Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and I want to send salutations to all the Akium throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be a response lesson to this woman who has a page called Open Diary. This woman has 29,000 subscribers. That's madness. All right, this... this listen, we don't need to even get into all the scriptures talking about how a woman <clears throat> should not serve authority uh, over a man and you know they should not you know a woman I suffer not a woman to teach things of this nature because that's what the scripture says man and I I, I didn't even want to go into that direction but the scriptures say that uh, and this woman is spewing her vomit everywhere with this this page this woman is off okay she is a false prophet or should I say false prophetess? All right. And then you got these fools out here following her, man. All right. And and they love to say all praises to the most high and all praises to the to, to all praises to the Lord. Uh what they say, uh uh blessing blessing Christ blesses blessings in Christ and all that. You know, and you know, these are the Israel uh group. Okay, these are the Israel uh, Nimrods. All right, <laughs> all right. These these are those that just accept many doctrines from anybody. They just happy that that, that they they know they Israel and they'll just leech on to any other doctrine. It doesn't even matter what it is, man. You know, and also a lot of this stuff be women worship. Also, you got a lot of dudes in the comment section talking about some yes, yeah, sister. Yeah, sister. Uh, shalom, sister. Yeah. Blessing, sister. And all this other nonsense. But this chick is off, man. And her doctrine, she don't believe that Esau, Edom, is a so-called white man. And she's trying to prove that uh, with these videos. But she she, she, um, she errs not knowing the scriptures, man. So I'm going to play this clip that she made. And uh, I'm going to get a, a, a few scriptures because... You know, I'm not going to make this into a long lesson. Make it short and short and sweet. Esau cannot be the white male if his father is Isaac, according to you are what your father is doctrine. The biological makeup of what makes a person human stems from both the indigenous male and the indigenous female. Israelites, you cannot crossbreed with an evolved Neanderthal and believe you are duplicating yourself, nor consider what was born from a sinful union to be holy. The Most High will not accept the abomination. The scripture said a bastard cannot enter the Most High's congregation. Crossbreeding is forbidden. Okay. So... Let's deal with the a bastard shall not enter into the congregation. Um, congregation is the gathering of the Israelites. They cannot enter into that. This ain't talking about some place where people gather and, you know, <clears throat> you know, you're not into, you can't enter into the building because our, uh, you know, hey, uh, these these heathens are profane, and profane means to be on the outside. All right, so they can't enter into the congregation. But that's talking about they cannot enter into the inheritance. All right. They have no part in this inheritance. The heathen. They have no part in, in this. So they cannot enter into the congregation. So they cannot enter into our uh, inheritance. Because it's only for Israel. Uh, let's grab that real quick. Because it's only for our people. And that's it. So... This cannot be for anybody. It's only for Israel. Alright. So this is only for Israel. 
All right. Jeremiah 31, 31. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord. All right. And you can go on and on and read, but it's, this is for Israel only. So, yes, a bastard cannot enter into the congregation, meaning an outsider. All right. You, you, can't, answer, you can't come into that. All right. It also considered uh, Moab to be a bastard. All right. They can never enter the congregation. All right. So she said in her scripture or in her little video. All right. Matter of fact, I got to go back. What did she say? She said she said a lot. The biological makeup of what makes a person human stems from both the indigenous male and the indigenous female white male if his father is isaac according to you are what your father is doctrine the bio all right yeah let's deal with that because the scriptures tell you that uh that uh jacob and esau were two different people that's what she's glossing over and not not remembering so yes it could happen all right just like the lord uh which we're going to get into in a minute um gave uh Isaac the blessing and um and uh Ishmael his blessing but the promise is with the Isaac not to Ishmael so the Lord can do what he wants but it's specific in this scripture and we're going to get to it all right dealing with uh Jacob and Esau this is uh Genesis 25 and 21 it says and Isaac en entreated Yahweh for his wife because she was bearing and Yahweh was entreated of him and Rebekah, his wife conceived. The children and the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of Yahweh. So the two, two children were struggling in, inside of her because they were um, at, at war with each other already from the womb. All right. It says, and... Yahweh said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. So you have two nations here, all right, in the womb. Two different nations, all right, in the womb of this woman. Two manner of people, two manner of people, the people, a nation, all right, two different nations in thy womb. This is scripture. So there's two different people. In this woman's womb, from one man's seed. Yes, this is how the Lord made it. All right. It says, it says, uh, two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the and the elder shall serve the younger. All right. So Esau is going to serve the younger because Esau came out first. Okay. Just like uh, you had um, uh, Japheth, Shem, and Ham. Those are three different nations of people. But they all came from Noah. All right. <laughs> all right. But Shem, we, we come from Shem. All right. But not every, but you know, you got the Hamites, the Africans, they come from Ham, all right? But the seed was through Shem, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? So it says, uh, and when her days be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. So they were twins, but they were paternal twins, all right? They didn't look alike, all right? They're still family. They're still brothers, but they didn't look alike. So check this out. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. And Esau means to be wasted away. All right. So it says the first one came out red. It was Esau. Let's check this out. And it came out all over like a hairy garment. Now, this is a hairy garment. This is a ram skin that was painted red. 
is clearly dark red. All right. It says the first came out like a uh, came out red like a hairy garment, and his name shall be called Esau. All right. So red, red garment, which we're gonna get again. Let's get it again. Red garment, and then you see the people and how they look red. Now you telling me that this person that came out red, all over like a hairy garment, was a so-called black man. Or a black baby? No. It described Esau and it did not describe describe Jacob because Jacob came out regular, melanated. But this one, these people came out red because they lack melanin. Alright? So they were bloodshot red. Just like the hairy garment. Alright? And the Lord cut her because she said that, you know, basically how could, you know, both come out and one's indigenous, one's not, it don't matter. It's all about the seed and where the seed comes from. But the key in this was the fact that there were two nations in her womb and two manner of people. So it's two different nations. You have one nation and the other nation. All right. And it says, um, and after that came his brother out. And his hand uh, took hold of Esau's heel. And his his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. All right. So, and also, let's keep going. I didn't, even, I didn't even have to get this, but it says, And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter. And a man of the field. And when you look up, listen, man, go go to 7-Eleven. Go to the magazine section. You're going to see that this man is clearly a hunter. All about hunting. He has turned hunting into his whole identity. Now, everybody hunts. Every nation hunts. Because, you know, you got to hunt, you know, at one point to, 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 to eat. But these people were are just clearly all about the hunt. All right, this is what they do for fun. You know, they kill certain animals for sport. I just saw a video the other day of this woman, man, this Edomite woman. She killed a whole giraffe. For what? For a trophy. Because that's what they do. It's their characteristic, man. It says, uh, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Plain meaning they were beautiful and, and physical, physically, all right? You know, look at that plane. It's just perfect, complete, complete, perfect. One who lacks nothing in physical strength and beauty. That's what our people are, man. All right. So you have one vessel of right to righteousness and the other to another. Uh, uh, to wickedness, which is Esau. I tell you that in Romans, the ninth chapter. There was one vessel to righteousness and one to wickedness. All right. Now, just uh, briefly going into uh, um, Isaac and uh, Ishmael, you know, one was of the promise and the other was not, just like Jacob and Esau, Galatians 4 and 23. But he who was of the bond woman was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was born was by promise so the free woman all right and then the bond woman you know hagar all right and then the free woman sarah you know you know isaac and ishmael ishmael had his blessing and then isaac had his which was of the promises all right so with that all praises to yahweh bashim yahweh shai